Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Timlin98 here with my third video on making your bucket server start to finish. Now, by now you should already have, in my example folder, you should have all of this stuff and in the server.properties file, you should have your local IP address just to kind of recap. Now, what this video is going to be about is making your server accessible, part two, making accessible to the world. And this is via port forwarding on a Verizon Fios router. The specifics on that router would be router MI424WR. I just looked at that. Now, the label, if you're not sure where it is, will be kind of on the bottom, uh, on the opposite side of the antenna. I mean, this is at least what I have, and I know how to use this. Okay. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do, unless you have something really important on your router, is pick it up, go to the back and there's a red button, just take a pen or something, that's what I did just 10 seconds ago. You take a pen and you just hold down the red button with the pen for like, count to 10. Uh, I go to 11 or 12. Then just pull your pen out, it won't reset all on its own. Just pull it out and uh, it'll restart, reset and, you know, it'll be good for you to log on to. So this is going to be exactly what it's like for you. This is kind of a remake of my first port forwarding video. So uh, let's get started. First thing you want to do, if you have the same router as me, your default gateway is going to be, just type this into the browser, 192.168.1.1. Alright, so this is what it's going to say, login setup. Alright, so I'm going to make my new username. Alright, that's going to be 7101. I don't know why the password is like that. I'm just going to type in my password. Alright. This is what it's going to look like. And uh, that's my time zone. Just click OK. There, I'm logged in. Uh, it's that easy. So, first thing you're going to want to do is click on Advanced when you're on the home page. Yes, you do want to proceed. I don't know why it's so tiny. Well, anyways, just click on Poor Forwarding Rules, and then go all the way to the bottom. Why is this so tiny? You know what? I don't even know. It does this sometimes. Then click just the, this little yellow thing down here to add. Then click it again. Actually, let's rename this Minecraft. Rename it Minecraft. Just click this little yellow thing right here. And the first one you want to make is Protocol. TCP, any, then the bottom one, you want to do single, and then type in 25565, five, or whatever you want your port to be. It could be 25564, you know, whatever you choose. Just click apply. Then you're going to add another one. This one is going to be UDP, any, single, 25565. Five, five. And I just want to point out that if your router, this is just a quick example. If the buttons on your router do not look exactly like these buttons, this is not the tutorial for you because everything will be completely different. I probably said that a little bit too late, but I'm telling you right now, just kind of close the video and go to another one. Um, so there we go, you just click apply. Okay, now go to firewall settings. Yes, you want to proceed. Alright, now click on port forwarding. And then the IP address, remember, uh, remember your local IP address, and here it is, 192.168.1.150, which is mine. Application to forward, and you find the one that you just made, Minecraft. There, just make sure that matches up. Then click Add. Come on, now right, yeah, go to the bottom and just make sure it's added. There we go. Just click Resolve now just to make sure that it works just fine. And then apply. And uh, there we go. That's all there is to port forwarding. Now, before you log on, what you want to do is figure out your external IP. And this is for other people to log on to. So you want to go to ip address.com. And let's just copy that to a text document. Okay. There we go. Save that. I'm just going to rename this IP address. I know I spelled that wrong, but I'm a terrible speller. Um, just 
stick it in there that way in case somebody asks for it you can give it to them and that's really all there is to getting people to join and I will just show you how that works right now start and you still have the local IP address typed into server.properties I don't know why this is severe but I don't think I have any plugins in here No. oh well just waiting for it to load alright done there we go now just start up minecraft uh, yep. I'm gonna log in. There we go. Remember my password. I'm just gonna do that. And then multiplayer, add server, and I'm going to type in what's in the IP address which I spelled wrong how about I just copy and paste it just name this test server and there we go it works uh, this is it if you check this is the same world as when we were in LAN Ooh. lag 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 uh. Alright, so that's the IP that I give people to log on. I'll be expanding a little bit more, but now your server is up and running. If you already knew how, know how to do plugins, this should be the last video for you. If you don't, keep on watching. Have a nice night, day, evening, morning. This has been Halo 98. Bye.